Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So the view may look a little weird right now because I'm actually filming on my phone because it's a good bit easier than my camera. And I'm trying to work out some stuff with my camera and editing and stuff like that. So right now it's just easier here, but yeah. And if it's a little bit dark, I apologize too. It's a little stormy outside, but I wanted to come on here and share with you guys my most recent Ulta haul. <laughs> It's a big one, <laughs> but today was the last day to use the 20% off coupon, so I thought, why not? And I'm also gonna come on here and share a few of my current favorites right now since I haven't done a favorites video in, in a while. So yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Subscribe if you haven't already and check out some of my other videos as well. Okay, so first of all, one thing that I've never tried with makeup is false lashes. And I don't know why it's taken me this long to like actually even attempt to put them on. I think it's because I'm super uncoordinated and I'm scared I'll like get glue in my eye and stuff. But I bought some of the Ardell Wispies, which I hear a lot of people talk about. This is what they look like. And I also got the Ardell Lash Glue as well. They look pretty, but I don't really care. Like I just wanted to get some cheap ones to try because I don't even know if I'll be able to apply them honestly. Um, but I'm gonna give it a shot and see what I think. And I'll let you guys know. I just feel like some of the looks that I do, it would look a whole lot better if I was able to put falsies on. So I'm not gonna be, I don't think I'll ever be the kind of girl that like wears them every day. I, there's nothing wrong with that if you do do that. I just don't, like I just don't wanna start that. So I got some just to try. So I'm just gonna kinda go all over the place with skincare and makeup. I got this face mask, um, a sheet mask from Pacifica. It's the Super Green Detox Kale and Charcoal Detox Facial Mask. Um, and it's supposed to help with clogged pores and blemish prone skin, which I have both of those. Uh, this is what it looks like. It looks really cute. Um, and you're supposed to wear it for 10 or 20 minutes, so I'll let you guys know how that works out. Um, hopefully it does my skin some good, so. Next up, this is a recommendation from one of my friends, Lori. Shout out to you if you're watching this, hope you are. Um, but this is the Bayer's Witch Hazel, which a lot of people let me know on Instagram that this is really good for your skin. So I'm gonna start trying this just cause I wanna incorporate like some different skin skincare stuff into my routine. So hopefully that works out pretty well. Wow, honestly, I didn't realize I got this much stuff, <laughs> but let's keep going. So I got just some like routine things that I typically get. This is something I've just now started getting into is the Simple Micellar Cleansing Wipes. Uh, I usually just use like Huggies Baby Wipes. But I realize it's probably not the best for my skin and I should actually use something that like is properly removing my makeup. So I got a double pack of these because I tried them recently and I really enjoy them. So I figured I might as well get a double pack. And then I just got some basic cotton rounds because I use this to apply my toner at the end of the night. So yeah, I need some more of these. And I got one hair care thing just because I'm obsessed with this, especially during like the summer months. Um, this is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Soft Waves Sea Salt Spray with aloe and sea salt. This is what it looks like. I really like it. Um, I love this brand. I think they're just really cool and I like all the stuff that they do. Um, this smells amazing. It smells like you're at the beach and it makes you, like if you're like me and have like pin straight hair, it gives you really pretty like soft waves and like a little bit of texture to your hair. Um, so I really like that about this. I have tried that before, so that's a repurchase. I used to buy it all the time, but I just typically like it more in the summer. Okay, moving on to a few more makeup things. Uh, these are two products that I picked up from e.l.f. Um, I got the 16 hour camo concealer. This is what it looks like. Uh, it was really popular a few months ago, I believe, when it came out because the doe foot applicator is supposed to be really big if you see it right there. I'll give you guys updated thoughts on this on my Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram name right here. Follow me on there if you're not already because I've started doing a whole lot of reviews on there. This is supposed to be pretty full coverage, but also um, hydrating, which is good because I have dry skin. And then the other product that I got from e.l.f. is the Primer Infused Blush in the shade Always Cheeky. Um, I'm gonna actually talk about the bronzer from this line later, the primer infused line from e.l.f. Uh, this is what this one looks like. It's a really pretty, like just neutral shade. Um, but yeah, I really like the bronzer in this formula. So I figured the blushes would be really pretty too. And I'm always down for a new blush, so. Okay, yeah, I only have two more things. It's not that bad, okay? Uh, I needed a new pressed powder, um, like a finishing powder. I use loose powder underneath my eyes, but I pressed powder the rest of my face. So I picked up the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Powder. This is in the shade 
LN3, so I'm assuming it's light neutral. This is what it looks like. I really like the healthy foundation, so I hope that the powder is a similar like thing. I forgot to mention the shade in the concealer that I got is the shade Light Sand. I'm scared it'll be a little bit too dark because I usually like pretty brightening concealer, but we'll see, maybe it's not bad. And lastly, but not least, I got the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Typically, I don't buy much high-end makeup, but I actually tried this a while back, um, and I really liked what it did to my lashes. And since I typically don't wear falsies, like I said, I like to really make sure I have a good mascara to make my lashes really long and like have a lot of volume. Um, and this has worked for me in the past, so I figured I would treat myself with the coupon and get like high-end mascara that I know I enjoy. So I highly recommend this one because I've already tried it. Looks really good on your lashes. Okay, moving on to a few um, like kind of summer favorites, I guess. Um, a few new things I've been really enjoying. I'm gonna start with this primer that I recently got into. I don't know if I've spoke about it on my YouTube yet, but I recently have started trying the Touch and Soul No Pore Bloom Primer. This is what it looks like. Um, it's a smoothing primer, which typically I don't like, uh, but it's supposed to help your makeup not sink into your pores as much. Um, give you like kind of like a flawless base for foundation. I really like this. It's pretty affordable, but um, I really recommend it. It really fills in my pores around like my cheek area, which is where I have a lot of issues. Um, it really preps my face for makeup. So I highly recommend this. It's just something I've really been into lately. I actually have two foundations. I've been in a foundation kick lately. Like it's been like my thing that I've been trying a whole lot of. And these two I picked up not too long ago, but enough to like have a good consensus of what I feel about them. I made a post on my Instagram about these going a little bit more in depth, so I'll just kind of skip over them. But I have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation in the shade F2. This is what it looks like. This is really cool because it has a really big doe foot applicator. This makes it really easy to apply the foundation. This, I would say, has like a satin matte finish. I feel like if you have oily or dry skin that it would really work for you. I have dry skin and it's not heavy or cakey at all on my skin. I really like it. Um, I'm trying to see some of the claims that it has on it. It's cruelty free and vegan, so there's also that. That's really awesome. But yeah, it, it lasts a long time on the skin. It claims to be full coverage. I would say it's more of like a medium coverage, which is what I typically prefer. Um, but it's really good. I highly recommend it. It's super affordable as well. So, Okay, the other foundation that I have is the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. Don't let this name fool you. It's also like a satin matte like the other one. It's not cakey. It doesn't look dry or anything. I have the shade Bisque. They don't have the best shade range in this, but I really enjoy it and I recommend it as well. It's also pretty affordable. If I had to pick one out of the two, I would probably say the Makeup Revolution one's a little bit better. Um, that's just personal preference. They're both good. Okay, so this is the reason why I wanted to do this part of the video because this concealer is so good. One of my friends recommended this to me as well, Zoe. Hi, if you're watching Zoe, I love you. Uh, <laughs> this is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. This is what it looks like. I haven't tried it as an Oliver foundation yet, but my friend who recommended it said it's really good just like on its own as foundation. I'm wearing it today as concealer and I feel like it just gives me such a flawless finish to my face makeup. Um, it's super full coverage, but it's not heavy and it doesn't feel cakey or dry. Like it's super nice. I, I think this is my new favorite concealer, honestly. I have mine in the shade Ivory 330 is the shade. It's a little bit too light since I've gotten a little bit of tan from the beach, but I still make it work because it's so good. And next up we have the bronzer I was talking about earlier from e.l.f. in the shade Forever Sunkissed. This is what it looks like. It's like the perfect shade for me. It's not too warm, not too cool, and it blends really nice on the skin. I have it on today. My makeup's been on for a really long time though, so don't judge me on it. I'm a little bit oily, which is weird, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Lastly, I have these two palettes that I have been in love with and done a couple of looks with on Instagram. They are the Dubious Place palettes. I'm just obsessed with this brand. I hadn't tried anything from them, but I've heard so many good things that I wanted to pick them up and they recently came to an Ulta near me. So, um, they're one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas now. These shimmers are so good. I've used almost every shade. I've used every shade in this palette and they all perform really well. This is what it looks like. It's just so different. 
and like unique. Like this, this shade right here is like a duochrome and it's like a green, like goldish champagne color. Looks so pretty. This is the, oh, I forgot to <laughs> mention what it was. This is the Tribe palette by Juvia's Place. These are, are around $20 each, 100% worth it. Like they are such high quality, like, like high, way past high end quality, like super good. This is the other one, which is a lot more neutral and like I recommend for just everyday makeup and what I use quite often for my everyday makeup. Um, it has such good neutrals, um, but they're also really fun. Like this shade right here is like a pink champagne color. This is the Nubian by Juvia's Place. And it's also really good and I recommend it as well. So yeah, there's these geese that always hang out outside of our apartment and I love them. They just always like sit and hang out out there and they're so cute and I love them. <laughs> All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I have a lot of videos planned in the future and I can't wait to show you guys. So make sure you subscribe again if you haven't already. Follow my Instagram and yeah, let me know what you guys wanna see from me going forward um, and let me know if you picked up anything you love lately from Ulta or anywhere else, just makeup in general. Uh, thank you guys for watching, bye.